But if you get out there and say, seize General Motors and reconvert it to produce tractors, nuclear reactors, maglev rail, modern capital goods that can be sold in the third world, right, that people in... But the globalists don't want to build up the third world. They want to neutralize them from industry so that they can be controlled. Absolutely. So you've got to counter that. So you counter them in in every way, counter them nationally and internationally. So I think it's time to to organize. In other words, I think the, uh, the Obama deception, your work... And other things have come together now, especially the, 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 the betrayals of this regime. We have this guy called Ted Rawl. He's an interesting guy. I don't know if you saw this, right? The Illinois State Journal Register in uh, Springfield, Illinois. And he comes out with an article saying, it's time for Obama to resign. This is somebody who supported Obama. He says, Obama is a monster. He has betrayed us on everything. He has betrayed us more than any other elected official. I didn't in- see it. Who was who this? Ted Rawl, R-A-L-L, the Illinois State Journal Register. He's actually, he's an interesting person, a maverick. He, he was one of the first people to call for the impeachment of, uh, of Bush. All right, so stay there, stay there. You know, uh, w- stay there, Webster, final segment. I was going to take calls. We took a lot earlier, but I just am out of time. Julio and Chris and Matthew and David, right? Call back tomorrow. You'll be there first. We're going to come back to the final segment because I want to I want to talk about what what they're saying the solution is. Okay, Webster, look, here's the deal. You've got your solutions. I agree with a lot of it. We're not in control of things. The people don't want what the bankers are doing. They want what you're saying. Common sense, it's not happening. Bloomberg saying how dare the American people not love the you know what's happening with GM as if you know we don't care, as if we haven't been raped enough. That's being used as a distraction of the tens of trillions that have you know been been sucked out right to the bankers. But they're having a fake solution that is carbon taxes, shutting down most of the industry, as Pelosi said in China, categorizing and registering everything we do, carbon credit, ration cards. I don't think the public realizes that not only are they going to bankrupt things, their new economy is this debt economy by design to bring in neo-feudalism and serfdom that you cover in the Obama deception so eloquently that I hope folks will get at Infowars.com and show to people quickly. So in closing, how do we, we have to not just have solutions, we have to discredit their power grab of the whole economy that's left. I mean, there's no way to say this wasn't designed. Everything they're doing is designed to criminally consolidate. Well, we're all looking forward to the uh, to the next uh, product coming out of your, your shop there, if it's uh, July 4th or, or thereabouts. And uh, there may be possibly ways to, uh, to regroup further. I mean, we, may, we might want to think about some form of conferences, maybe in the uh, in the late summer, early autumn, bring together various kinds of uh, forces that are in resistance. I know Phil Berg. Yeah, I wonder if if, uh, if if C-SPAN would put us back on. Sorry, go ahead. It's possible. Phil Berg is continuing to to with his lawsuits to expose Obama. He's he's uh, he thought he had oral arguments in the Third Circuit in Philadelphia, but they've pushed him now into the autumn. But uh, at a certain point, I think that that the climate of opinion begins to change. In other words, I think Obama is has now passed his peak, and I think people should therefore take heart and redouble their efforts and uh, and and keep fighting the good fight because Obama is now more vulnerable. In other words, the the idea that these left liberals at their uh, uh, campaign for America's future conference are so uncomfortable about the fact that the guy is such an obvious Wall Street puppet. So subservient to Summers and and uh, and all of these zombie bankers, I think that's uh, that's beginning to crack this edifice. Well, I think what began to crack it was him saying no rights for detainees and the torture is going to continue and right. we're going to open new camps. I mean, this is ridiculous. Right, but therefore the, the the big question is economic program. Do you have one? In other words, can you criticize Obama in a way that makes it clear that you're not talking about? having the depression work its full fury on the on the population but you're actually proposing solutions that would work and again reconverting general motors to make maglev trains that's the idea that will i think take off and, and lead us into the future well certainly that's better than just giving 14.8 trillion to a bunch of criminal bankers claw uh, back to... claw back operation claw back on the bankers well we need to audit the fed that's going to expose other criminals we need to get more state sovereignty to, to, to expose the central government. Webster Tarbley, great talking to you. Let me say bye to you as the show ends here in just a moment. Retransmission with all the big guests starts now on the web at InfoWars.com. Great job of the crew. We'll be back in one minute. Stay with us.